Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I hope y'all are doing good today. First things first, shout out to Lexis Exodus. She is being the leader that she is. She created a petition on change.org to cancel the documentary that was executively produced by Tina Knowles, who happens to be Beyonce's mother. And um, I definitely agree with this. So I encourage you, if you haven't done so already, to definitely sign that petition. I'll link that uh, link for you in the description box. And you can also find it on my community wall as well. Definitely sign that petition because we definitely need to create a buzz um, that highlights black femicide because this documentary is definitely problematic. It just doesn't even put a dent in the issues at hand. And in order for you to actually eliminate a problem, you have to actually dig deep into the root cause of a concern and you have to be a hundred percent con you have to be a hundred percent real with yourself no matter how much the truth hurts you right you have to get to the root of that problem and figure out what that issue is and then once you figure out what the issue is and you actually grow a pair and confront that issue and acknowledge it and that that at that point you can start to look for solutions now i refuse to watch this documentary and i definitely encourage you to refuse as well but i can already tell it's the same old same old protect the hyena the hyena keeps falling victim by way of the white man's police department and it's just so disingenuous to the highest degree because it doesn't attack the root cause of the problem. Now, the root cause of the problem, conservatives have been talking about this for a very long time online. And, um, you know, they've been getting attacked for it. But one of the, the talking points that they have in their debates is that hyenas are only about 13%. Now I'm quoting statistics from a couple of years ago. It may have changed, but granted not by much. So this is definitely approximate, but it's pretty close. 13% of the population is of black people and hyenas make up a portion of that, right? Yet they are committing about 50% of the crimes across the board. Most of them are committing crimes against each other at rates up to about 90%. Now, again, I'm just going off of memory here. And I'm just remembering this from listening and tuning in to conservative uh, commentators and um, news sources. They've quoted these statistics, so I'm pretty sure that they're pretty close, but go ahead and go to the FBI, go to the Department of Justice, and look up those statistics yourself. You're going to see statistically what's going on here, what, is, what, what the issue is. Um, on, a, on a deep, sort of narrow, because it's just one portion of an issue, um, hyenas are committing crimes at a very large rate across the board and they're committing crimes against each other at a very high rate and they're also committing crimes against other communities at a very high rate they make up most of the crimes yet hold a small percentage of the population it just is what it is Look up these statistics yourself. You can debate what, whatever you want as to why that is the case. What caused that? But the bottom line is, is that's the issue. Who cares what caused it? It's here now. Figure out how to fix it. Now, in addition to these crimes that um, are causing victims of all communities... We're going to go ahead and zoom in on 
one of its its, its actual greatest victim which is black women, black femicide, right? And every five and a half hours, a black woman is sent to meet her maker by way of a hyena. And it's these statistics are beating the hyena's brute police brutality statistic by a landslide. And yet this preference pick me I'm just going to leave it there Tina Knowles decided that it would be a good idea to create yet another documentary documentary highlighting because hyenas have gotten a lot of media coverage by way of Netflix by way of Hulu those uh during Black History Month Go put on a black documentary. I guarantee it's going to just talk about more and more police brutality. And it's not even going to tackle the surface of what black women go through and what they've experienced. The traumas they have. Literal PTSD that keeps being passed down from generation to generation. Because black women have to silently suffer. Because nobody is speaking out for them. And this woman who actually have who actually have black women as daughters who've suffered in some sort of way at the hand of a hyena both Beyonce and Solange Solange was left to be a single mother and Beyonce was cheated on she you know and that's just like one that's that's probably on the mid low end of 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 that spectrum of evil that i talked to that exists in all hyenas isn't it but nonetheless flip these women's lives upside down we heard how beyonce uh felt in her lemonade um album We saw how she stepped to the side and allowed her sister to go to town on Jay-Z in that elevator. These things happen for a reason. And yet this woman with her gall and her with her big platform decides that this is going to tackle the root cause of the issues of what goes down amongst black people. (sighs) I'm going to go ahead and show you this clip so that you can get an idea of what this pick me had to say about the matter. And then we'll wrap this up with some final thoughts. Again, shout out to Lex, Lexus Exodus. Definitely subscribe to her channel. Um, This footage comes from her channel. So I'm going to go ahead and play this for you and then we'll chat. All right, check this out. A new docu-series by Tina Knowles Lawson highlights the impact of harmful stereotypes on black men. She is an executive producer of the series, and oh yeah, she's also the mother of two powerhouse daughters, that would be Beyonce and Solange. Profile the Black Man uses real-life stories to explore the history of stereotypes. It highlights the challenges that black men face because of them. It also shines a light on people who are dedicating their lives to changing that narrative. The first episode dismantles the damaging idea that black men are dangerous. Tina Knowles Lawson talks about the role that the media plays on that and how black men are portrayed. So in this clip, she describes a very personal experience involving questions about her son-in-law. We all know him as Jay-Z. I can remember getting on a plane and an older white woman saying, oh, your son is a gangster rapper, right? How did you let him marry your daughter? And it was just shocking to me. And I said, no, actually, my son is a CEO. She didn't think of him as a CEO or even a talented celebrity that, you know, was a great businessman. And at that time, I remember thinking, you know, I can't be mad at her because that is what the media portrays. Tina Knowles Lawson is the executive producer of the series and the co-founder and artistic director of the Waco Theater. She's with us first on CBS Mornings. Tina, my mouth fell open when you gave that example, because I'm thinking, and then you followed up by saying, I'm not even mad at her. How how are you not mad? And it's good to see you, Tina. It's good to see you. How are you not mad? Long time. Um, Just because I thought 
You know, I sat there and I thought about how the media portrays black men and how that is typical of the things that they would focus on, you know, the negatives and try to portray us as these dangerous, um, our men is dangerous, uneducated, gangster rapper, that's all she could come up with. But that's what she, mm -hmm. you know, that's what she had been seeing on TV and all in the media. That's how we're portrayed, unfortunately. Yeah. So you're saying, you're saying we can't really blame her. I have to tell you, we were only allowed to see one part of the series and I was so bummed, Tina, because by the time I watched the first one, I wanted to watch the other three. It made me angry, it made me sad. Oddly enough, it, it, oddly enough, I also found it uplifting. And I'm wondering, I've heard you say that this, you wanted this to be a love letter to black men. So your goal here is what exactly? Absolutely to debunk those stereotypes that our men are dangerous. You know, if a, how many times has a black man walked into an elevator and someone clutches their purse? Or they walk by yeah. a car and, you know, the doors are locked. And they could be a judge. They could be, they, they have no idea, but because it's a black man, especially if they're of some stature, um, that they are dangerous. And so if we can kind of get people to understand that that's not so and to show them examples of otherwise, that we are, we do have good fathers and we are good providers and we yes. love our, you know, our men love their own women as well. Um, it's just all the yes. negative stereotype. And, and it's, it's just perpetuated over and over no matter what. Yeah. It, it's yeah. just what everybody thinks. You know, and, and the other part, thing I liked about it, no, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Gail. No, the, the other thing I liked about it is you gave example after example to illustrate the point of the disparities that exist for black men. And one thing that I found really striking, you had a black man and a white man who have the same build, weighed the same, had the same body build, but yet when the audience was asked, when the survey was asked, people automatically said that the black man was muscular, was more muscular and looked more dangerous, which I found fascinating when you have two side by side with the, looking the same way other than the color of their skin. What do we do to change that way of thinking? Well, I think, you know, when Trell brought this, Trell Thomas is the guy who actually talked about these problems and wanted to do something so badly to develop these stereotypes. And I was like, if you don't see it, create it. And, and we'll get together and we'll work on this and, and, and make it a great thing. Um, what I said to, to the producers is that I know that if we put this series on BET or one of the black stations that we already know that our men are not dangerous and that they are good fathers and all of these things. Mm -hmm. Who needs to see it are the people that are at home, the white people who don't understand that that is so. And mm -hmm. they have been fed a lot of nonsense through the media and all mm -hmm. of these horrible stereotypes. So I applaud um, the network for putting that on um, the Discovery Channel. That's amazing. It, it's bold. Yeah, and I think and, so, too. And yeah. Because I hope that yeah. many, many people will see this. All right, so y'all saw that. So she talks about wanting to dismantle that hyenas are dangerous as portrayed by media and such, right? Because a white woman, I guess, stopped her on a plane or something like that. And basically based off of what she was seeing on the televisions and in the news, um, Jay-Z was a hyena who was being a hyena and she went up to Tina and was just like, I'm confused. This just doesn't happen in other communities. She didn't say all that, but like, I'm pretty sure it, it was coming from that position. I don't get it. Um, this just isn't normal. Why would you allow one of the greatest artists of all time to be with a thug hyena? And I think it's a good question. But she says instead, well, but it, he's actually a CEO. Oh, I just hate when these pygmies feel the need to just like their instant instinct 
is to protect a hyena. Oh my God. Even though hyena, (laughs) ironically enough, hyenas chase the gazelle. And isn't like somebody's middle name Giselle? (laughs) Hyenas chase gazelles and just annihilate those poor creatures. Just chase them around until they tire out and then just start eating their insides while they're alive. This is what they do in the wild. And ironically enough, one of your daughters has a name very close to the name of that animal and her insides were figuratively ripped out of her self because of what your son-in-law, the CEO, did to her. And that's just the considered the low-level stuff. The things that hyena that mammies feel that you should forgive hyenas for. You should forgive them when they figuratively rip your heart out. But anyways, not only that, Jay-Z has participated in even higher levels of evil that exists in the hyena, when he was doing what he was doing to make it, when he was selling the products that collapsed the entire communities, particularly within the black community, left a lot of children without parents, left a lot of children sick because they were born with it in their system, That's evil. That's literally this word. I'm going to put it here because I don't know if I can say it or not. To your own race. That's that's an that's on the the very high end of the level, the 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 evil levels within a hyena. So it is a good question. Why would you allow your daughter to marry somebody like that? Why would you encourage it? And. Let this man speak for himself and protect himself. You don't have to cover for him. He is a piece of crap. Your daughter wrote a whole album about it. And then he wrote an album, apparently, discussing the matters that he did. Apparently, he was very transparent about the the FS that he did in in that album that uh, Jay-Z released after Beyonce released Lemonade. I didn't listen to it, but that's what I heard. But no, she goes on to blame the media. And regardless of what the media says, the stats don't lie. It is what it is. You make up less of the population because at the end of the day, there are more black women than there are black men. And so they they are a lower, they are the lowest percentage of existence. Yet they are committing Most of the crimes, I would say all. Uh, It would be hyperbolic, but, you know, justifiably so. (sighs) At some point, you know, people like Tina need to look within. It's like one of those things like when you keep attracting the same type of dude over and over and over again. At a certain point, you got to look and be like, dang, what is it that I'm doing to attract these kinds of people? At some point, you have to look at what is really going on, Tina Knowles, and be real about it. Because that's when issues are going to be resolved. She goes on to talk about like the the typical things that we were used to hearing growing up that like, to be honest with you, when I ended up going around white people, like I didn't experience that. The black dudes were very, very cool amongst a lot of the white people. Nobody was afraid of them. But, you know, the things that we hear about when people clutch their purses when they see them in an elevator, which, you know, can you blame them? They're a very low percentage of population and commit most of the crime, particularly amongst each other, 
particularly amongst, particularly and first and foremost amongst black women who actually suffer more often than hyenas suffer police brutality. And so when people clutch their purses, the appropriate response would be to highlight the data so that we can keep things real, especially the data that impacts black women, and then be mad and hold accountable the hyenas that are making this reality that is that is making this these these examples there are countless examples that we can choose from that highlight the effery by way of hyenas it's absolutely frightening how unaccountable hyenas get to be and how much how far beyond they can go and there will always be a mammy or a pick me waiting for them to get out of prison or becoming their wife while they're in prison. Which, to be honest with you, is it's, it's, it's at that same level that Tina Knowles is doing with this stupid documentary that she's producing. You might as well be one of those women who marry men who commit penal code 187, especially amongst themselves, especially amongst black women, and marry that man. You might as well because you're you're doing the same level, if not more damage because of your big platform when you do counterproductive pick me BS like this. And she goes on to blame the, the media about the stereotypes. Like, look, those days are over, ma'am. We can acknowledge history's dark past and acknowledge some of the impacts that it has today. But that is not what is causing black women to lose their lives. This is not what's causing even black men to lose their lives. And Lex is right. This woman is just, she does not have the mental capability to analyze and decode the root cause and draw a conclusion. Which you can then now attach potential solutions to that conclusion. She doesn't have the ability to do that. It's all superficial, emotional crap. And it's weird, too, because you already know what these hyenas did to your own daughters at the lower end, which should be enough for you not to make this documentary. But hyenas are, are doing evil stuff on the on the high end of the spectrum. And your son in law. Was up there. I mean, the low end evil on the spectrum, it, it, it should be enough. Not to make this documentary. But this is what you're dealing when you're when you're dealing with a perverse set of individuals, especially the ones with power. This is this is what what you get. So it's uh, again, it's highly encouraged for you to uh, sign that petition. Let's get a buzz. Let's let your voices be heard. And, you know, spread the spread the word, y'all. Let's get stuff done. All right. That's all I got to say about this riffraff. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Again, shout out to Lex. Thanks so much for being a leader and, and, and get jump-starting this petition for us to try to make a difference here, man. Got to start somewhere. All right. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for listening. See y'all in the next one. Love y'all. Bye.